Before I start the video, I would like to give a massive shout out to my Patreons who have been supporting my channel. If you would like to check out my Patreon and receive early access to some very exciting videos coming soon, then please click the link in the description below. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nerd Den here once again. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about something very exciting, and that is the future of Doctor Who. Because for those who haven't been paying attention for the past 24 hours now, there has been a lot of credible leaks for a Units-based spin-off. Yes, Units is going to be getting their own spin-off, and it is going to be based around the newly reformed unit, which happened at the end of Doctor Who Flux, and they had a presence in the power of the Doctor most recently. They are confirmed to appear in the 60th anniversary specials, and then they will be in Series 14, whilst being led by Kate lethbridge Stewart, who has been played by Gemma Redgrave for a very long time now. And the fact that Doctor Who is getting a new live-action spin-off is very exciting, because we haven't had one since class all the way back in 2016. So... It is very exciting, and we have we have had spin-offs already confirmed to us by Russell T. Davis. There's been a lot of talks about a cinematic universe um, being created for Doctor Who, similar to Marvel and Star Wars. And, yeah, people are excited, but also worried, because Doctor Who is a smaller brand compared to those two mammoths. So, what's going down anyway? Because there are a lot of leaks that leaked uh, from these sources... Um, beforehand, before it was picked up by the Mirror, uh, Deadline, the Scotland film, and yeah, it's kind of important to look back at these smaller base leaks because they could indicate what's going down with the future of Doctor Who and this unit spin-off. So with that being said, let's have a look at this video and see what's going down. <laughs> Okay, so the first one I'm going to be looking at is from Deadline. Now, Deadline have obviously um, been one of the more reputable sources that picked up on this leak and have published it because they believe that, yeah, it is true. And they've got a BBC source that has confirmed that a unit spin-off is happening for Doctor Who uh, and the rest is a conjecture. So I'm not going to read through the actual article because we already went through what the Mirror published yesterday. But essentially, yeah... A Doctor Who spin-off for Unit is happening. They have a source at the BBC that have confirmed its existence. So I'm guessing we might get an official announcement soon. But the fact that Unit are back is just... Oh, it's it's exciting. I really can't wait to see an Earth-based spin-off. It, it is going to be really cool. Now, if we move along here... Yeah, Discussing Film, again, have also picked it up as well. Um, talking about Doctor Who. Their source is obviously the deadline. But it's the fact that... All of these big film pages that obviously talk about uh, insider news and leaks when it comes to uh, big films like Marvel. It is crazy to see that Doctor Who is being talked about on here. And this isn't for the first time either. So the fact that Doctor Who is sort of owned by Disney in that cooperative way. I know they don't necessarily own the rights. But the fact they're publicly funding it I think is probably the reason. And I think Doctor Who deserves this um, popularity boost. So... Really exciting stuff, and Unit is going to be, well, they're going to be more of like a public name now, which is very exciting. And now, this bit of the leaks is coming from a Twitter user known as Matt. And now, Matt has um, uh, done a lot of uh, tidbits when it comes to um, insider knowledge, when it comes to the second Russell T. Davis era. And I will be going through... From the most recent stuff all the way to stuff that he wrote months ago. And it all has slowly started to become true with the unit spin-off stuff um, being revealed by the uh, Mirror and Deadline as well. So it is worth paying attention to his tweets. So the unit spin-off is still being written. It will be exec produced by Russell T. Davis and co. But like with Torchwood and the Sarah Jane Adventures, he'll only write crucial episodes, including the pilot. Still likely for winter 2024, after series 14 is aired, it's episode minus the Christmas one, obviously. So, that is a crazy release date to think that um, next year, at the end of next year, we could see the unit spin-off begin to air, which would be insane. I wonder if that would also get eight episodes as well. Um, and it just made me think as well, uh, when it comes to uh, the format with Doctor Who releases now. So we get eight episodes of Series 14. I'm guessing they would air at spring. 
and then we'll get um, in winter we'd get the unit one and then we get the Christmas special for Doctor Who which are oh, the, the content I'm, I'm already getting hypes and I imagine as well as time progresses we might even get another spin-off to maybe air during the summer but he has followed on and in this thread here saying quite crucially the aim is to bring back existing characters that haven't been seen in some time and bringing back a certain someone from another corner of the Hooniverse. The most surprising one here is Ariza Bagumbo, uh, who will have a significant promotion. So, yeah, we haven't seen um, Ariza Bagumbo in a long time uh, since the Planet of the Dead, and previously she had an appearance in the Turn Left episode, which was obviously she was playing a parallel universe version of herself. So, really cool. Uh, I hope that means we could see uh, Malcolm, played by Lee Evans. I think that would have been be amazing. Uh, and also Martha and Gwen. Now Martha I could see coming back to help Unit because she did previously work for Unit before going freelance. And then with Gwen as well, since Torchwood has been confirmed to no longer be a thing in the Doctor Who universe. I can imagine Gwen uh, returning to help out. I would love to see them both come back. And I think it would make a lot of sense as well with Gwen coming back. Because there was that whole fiasco on Twitter between uh, John Barrowman and Eve Miles. It was obviously something was interpreted that John Barrowman wasn't happy about. And I think this might be it. I think this might be it. Um, since, obviously, I don't think he would get um, asked to return to the show because of some of the controversies that have come up about him. Now, going to the next uh, 60th tidbit, which he wrote uh, a while before this one. Uh, despite what the very little we've seen and heard about the three episodes, they'll serve a much bigger purpose going into 2024 and 2025, with it also laying the foundations for the first currently unannounced Earth-based spin-off, which we now know to be UNIT. So I'm guessing, with the 60th anniversary, UNIT are going to be back. We might even see Gemma Redgrave uh, appear as Kate for it as well. And, yeah, I, I, I'm guessing, with all this stuff happening in, in the 60th anniversary, maybe this gives... Um, unit the boost as well to get more involved with earth-based defense and maybe they receive a lot more funding to protect the earth which would be pretty cool and then we move on uh, to something now uh, for series 14 uh, where uh, the doctor who leaks twitter account which we covered um, the other day but we're just going to go over what matt said about it and he says yeah he's happy to confirm that yeah sophie petzel will be uh, writing for series 14 russell is writing episodes one four seven and eight and Petzl, who he believes is possibly writing three. Moffat is writing episode five. And likely other guest writers for two and six. So, really cool stuff. Yeah, he has also heard rumours of uh, Neil Gaiman and Mark Gatiss. But no confirmation on that. So, I do hope that we get some guest writers for two and six. And obviously, Sophie Petzl hasn't written for the show before. So, that's another fresh face for um, writing the show. Really happy about that. But Stephen Moffat writing episode five. Okay, I'm, I'm down for that. And then obviously Russell writing uh, the majority of the episodes, again, does seem right as well. And then, um, that although details are obviously firmly under wraps from uh, what the spin-off is going to be at the time, um, it is now confirmed anyway to be headlined by the returning Gemma Redgrave as Kate Stewart, and then the winter 2024 premiere window, which does seem likely at this current stage. And now, the 60th anniversary, which is the final tidbit that we've got here from Matt. Uh, my understanding is that the episodes will be broadcast across three consecutive nights from Thursday, November 23rd to Saturday, November 25th, as a mini-event series. And the Christmas special will serve effectively as an epilogue a month later on Christmas Day. Woohoo! There's a lot to unpack here, so let's talk about it. So, I would just like to give a massive shout out to Matt on Twitter for supplying us with all these little tidbits when it comes to the 60th anniversary, Series 14, and beyond, and also Unit as well. So, massive shout out to you, mate. Um, I can't wait to see this stuff end up being true, uh, especially when it comes to the return of Martha and Gwen. I think that's what a lot of people are excited for. And also, as well, we could potentially see some other surprises with uh, more spin offs as well. Maybe there could be. Uh, you know, that villain anthology one could end up airing either 2024 or 2025. And then we end up with a lot of Doctor Who content over the years, which is going to be very exciting indeed. And obviously the unit spin-off as well, it has the potential to be like a Torchwood-esque 
uh, spin-off where it's a little bit more adult, a little bit more gory, and uh, deals with uh, stronger themes than Doctor Who would. So, yeah, with that being said, though, thank you very much for tuning into today's video. If you are new around here, be sure to subscribe for more nerdy content as we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, which I will love to reach by the end of the year. But I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for all the support, and goodbye for now.